Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you and this one is a design team project for Artie Mays. She has made um, an additional extra kit for her Bee Garden journal. So I've used that alongside her other kits, which is the Bee Garden. Um, I will link it below. The journal that I've made is a little chunky one, kind of morphed out of control slightly. Um, I have used... Um, some of her French ephemera as well inside here and the cover is a fabric cover with um, this topper here which is uh, music paper, cheesecloth, an image from one of her kits, uh, one of the bee kits and it's all been stitched. There is, um, let me tell you the measurements, it's six and three quarters by four and a half it has a one and a half inch spine two signatures and a total of 96 pages front and back we have eyelets and string as a closure and a little extra piece of black cotton <laughs> uh, this will be listed in my shop if you're interested so that's the back this fabric here um, is actually I've used the reverse side of it so you can still see slight patterns through there but it was it was a yellowy orangey color um, and I've used it a few times and I've used it this way um, so yeah so let's go inside um, I've enjoyed playing around with this just double checking I'm in frame because I'm doing this as a, li a private live again um, just saving up all my memory on my phone <laughs> okay so as you can see it is a chunky one so on the inside here, I've used um, one of the uh, background pages from uh, one of Artie Maisie's bee kits and then I covered it over with some envelope win uh, window envelopes, window envelopes. Right, so we've got one on the back and one on the front. Um, inside there we just have a tag which I have coffee dyed, stenciled and stamped the bee on there and you can journal on the back of that. Let me see if I can get that back in there. My little units there are stopping me from doing that. <laughs> um, and there is actually there is vintage music paper in the background there. And as you can see, I have stitched all around, and I've done the honeycomb stenciling. And that's how that stencil is. Uh, this one here needs cleaning because I've used it a lot today. So it's by Tim Holtz. <clears throat> These are the freebies that Artie Mays gave us and um, I'll tell you a little story about that. We might laugh. I thought I was losing my marbles. So she gave us this sheet of um, the little cutouts and you can print it on acetate, vellum, just normal um, like photo paper, etc. So I had some printed out <laughs> on some vellum and I found the, um, the freebie on my computer and I was like where's the one for the vellum it's exactly the same I because I printed it out in vellum I don't know why but I was looking for a completely different like image because I thought it was in vellum I thought I was losing my marbles <laughs> but anyway I'd realized that it's the same one Yvonne but you printed it out me personally printed it out on vellum and on normal like matte paper so yeah that was my little senior moment today so these are two images um, from the kit and I've just popped them in there like so and I've shrunk this kit down. This is the extra, the, the add-on extra kit. I shrunk that down to 75% to make this size journal. So there we have a little pocket there. We've got this lovely kind of orangey, it kind of looks orangey gold lace that I've put on there. And then again, one of them, the freebies from Artie Mays. This you get with the kit. And in there, I've done lots of stenciling as well. This is some of the French ephemera that I've just added in. It's been coffee dyed. So obviously that's another kit from Artie Mays shrunk that down to possibly about 70 percent that's a tag we have these as well that's from the kit had a few pieces left over from my porch prints um, from the bee collection there and i added that in as well just to stuff it out a little bit so as you can see the stenciling on there i used um what color did i use spiced marmalade because it was the nearest to yellowy orangey that i had here I've made um, just um, I made a pocket uh, with some cream cardstock 
put some a, a background layer on there and then this top layer is from the kit inside there we just got another stamped and stenciled coffee dyed tags but it is opened at the back so you can put things in there this is just a little envelope and obviously i've put that in with the flap um being upwards so that i've got the tuck this is from the kit i think this might be from my porch prints but i have got a lot of be stuff just left over from all the bee journals and things that I've been making recently. This is from Artie Maisie's kit. I think that is from my porch prints and that might be that as well. And then on the other side has just got some stenciling that's actually opened. Is it opened at the top? I might have to slightly trim that because once I'd sewn them in I'd realised that I forgot to trim it. I've done the other one in there but I forgot to do that one. Um, put a tab on here some more stenciling this is the old design shop and we have an envelope which is from the kits or one of the kits because there i think there's like three or four kits now for this so just some coffee dyed paper inside there and that is paper clipped on there this is some of artie Maisie's eco dyed paper so i added that uh, made a pocket here from some of the background papers and this is from like the new extra add-on kit and we have a postcard from the bee garden journal and some more stenciling put that so the bees sticking up uh, this is actually from my porch prints and this is some of Artie Maisie's French ephemera have some lined paper and a tab and a little piece of fluff in there. <laughs> Some more stenciling. This is from uh, one of the Bee Garden kits. Made a belly band and again this is the freebie. And another journal card there from Artie Mae. So there's a little bit of paper there. I'll give it, I've got extras in here that I didn't know I had. No, it's just the way the color of the paper is. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, this is actually from Artie Maisie's uh, sunflower kit. I just thought that added well to that kit. And there's just just a bit of coffee dyed paper in there, and it's got a bit of a shimmer to it. <clears throat> no, it doesn't want to go in. There we go, da da. But I thought the sunflowers went well with the bees. Okay, some more stenciling there and here. Uh, these are actually from the uh, one of Artie Maisie's time card toppers, and it's got some stenciling there. Another tag with the stenciling and the stamping, and I die cutted a die cutted i die cut <laughs> loads of little ovals earlier coffee dyed them and then stamped the b on there and then this is from artie Maze's kits as well this is the center of the signature <clears throat> i shrunk that down to about 60 percent i think just to put that in the middle another piece there from the new kit and a tag there and then this is one of the pages obviously i've shrunk that right down as well because it does come these background papers in the the new extra kit do come full size but i've shrunk that down obviously to i think that was 65 percent so that it would fit in this little journal <clears throat> stenciling a tab here i just made it's just a journal card and I used my circle die and, and popped out three holes, added these, these were the freebies and stenciled and stitched all around. I just backed it um, to some cardstock and then just stenciled on there. So that goes in there and a little corner tuck. This is from the kit as well. It's all from the kits. It's all from all of the kits. I think that might be my porch prints. And then there's this lovely little cottage in the background there which is nice um playing around with some coffee dyed paper i just saw the inside of it um sprayed some yellow spray on there done some stamping and then the bee 
so you've got a little envelope that you can tuck things in and like I said it's was it gessoed on the outside I think gessoed on the outside actually so I'll put that on there like that lined paper and a tab another one of the journal cards from the new kit and inside there we just have some French ephemera so there is lots and lots of places to journal on and then this was from the new kit as well American Bee Journal and then this is from the kit as well uh, the eco dyed paper some stenciling and a tab little flip there you could make that into a pocket here is um, the other side of that envelope and I've put this little ticket it's got B on it I think this is from my porch prints a little oval there with the B on there and this is from I don't know if that's Artie Mays or not actually because like I said I do have a lot of the B stuff printed out at the moment because I'm into bees at the moment and that's from my porch prints that piece then here again the little flap I made these were the pieces that I had on vellum I can't believe I done that looking for the vellum print out when it was exactly the same um Artie Mays actually sent me these the little specimen cards that she'd done on our Cricut and got, still got a few left so I used I think I've done two of them throughout and the B that's printed on vellum there <coughs> that's from the kit the new kit as well and that could possibly be from my porch prints and that all goes in there here I've just made a pocket, used the little pieces of ephemera from the new kit and made a little kind of banner topper thing, got cheesecloth there. Um, oh, that's upside down. Little journal card, little postcard there and a little stamp stencil to tag that I made. And onto second signature, got a top tuck some cheesecloth there and this is from the kit and so is that it's a lovely full page of bees a uh, little journal card, card there with the, they look like I don't know what flowers I thought they were like dandelions then but they're not they're, um, I don't know what they are but they've got loads of little bees on there not very good with flowers I know some flowers but not all of them and I used to do floristry <laughs> but I'm not very good with like garden flowers and wild flowers and things like that uh stenciling another little pocket that i made and then added this it says the flower doesn't dream of the bee the bee it blossoms and the bee comes if that made any sense if i said that correctly or not <laughs> little tag from one of the kits that's from my porch prints and i don't know who that's from whether it's artemis or not the, um, this one's definitely opened up here that's from the kit um, put that on there and two little journal cards there some stenciling in the background so yeah you could pop something inside there here we've just got a little bee stamp tab another <coughs> envelope and just some coffee dyed paper Another tab there, some more eco dyed paper from Artie Mays. Just made a belly band there, we've got some stenciling. This is one of the pages, shrunk down to about 60, 65%. And I just folded that and put it in there. And then this is actually from my porch prints. Another page from Artie Mays. And this is Artie Mays as well. Oops, a B postcard and another postcard there. Another one of these little things that I made. And actually, I was going to put a tab on that, but I didn't realise that I'd obviously cut the um, the circle too close to the top and the, the tab came way down, so I just left it as is. more stenciling 
another little pocket and this is from the time uh, the time cards toppers another little oval tag there with the B uh, another journal card and another one and then this is some of the French ephemera center of the signature <clears throat> another little tuck there some journal cards another tab stenciling another belly band here <coughs> oh, excuse me another journal card that's the freebie another little envelope and this is from the sunflower kit and the paper is just oh i can feel a sneeze coming on i've been very sneezy today <clears throat> Another one of those envelopes I just made from coffee dyed paper and just gessoed it, sprayed it, stenciled it, stamped it. And I'll put that on that away. Another pocket here. And this is from the kit. And I made the pockets actually from the, um, the pages that you get with the new kit. A stamped, stenciled coffee dyed tag. And a little postcard there. Eco dyed paper, lined paper, little flip there, little oval there, don't know where that came from. And then in there we have another tag with a big B on there and another one of these that's been printed on vellum and that's the little specimen cards that Andrea sent me. Another pocket here, uh, two layers. This is one of the journal cards. Another stamped, stenciled, coffee dyed tag. And it's obviously the pockets there and that's opened at the back too. Here, another corner tuck. Oh, that lovely kind of orangey goldy lace. Some cheesecloth. This is from the kit. That's a freebie. You can find all the freebies um, on Artie Mays and Friends. And this is some French ephemera. That away. There we go. And then finally, the back inside cover. Tag is just the same as the one in the front. I have to lift that up. It's actually opened at the back of the envelope as well, I believe. It is. And then obviously there's vintage music paper in there with the little B poking out, all being stenciled. Two journal cards from Artie Mays and they just pop in there like so. And that is the back. So that is this chunky little journal and it feels nice. I love that feeling when you <clears throat> when you've got a little chunky journal so there we have it um like i said i will link artie may's she is linked below but i will link the new kit below and then you can search for her other bee garden um journal kits <clears throat> and then if you're on the facebook group you can find all the freebies to do with the the not butterflies the bees okay so i hope you're all having a great weekend and i will speak to you all soon bye